Hi, everyone, and greetings once again from Radio Wasteland Records here in Midland, Michigan. It is time once again for our weekly check into some of the new releases headed to an independent record store near you. And coming up on the week of March 24th, 2023, we have got a lot of great new releases. It seems like there is a big influx of new releases coming, as well as a great stash of reissues and compilations as well. Now, before we get into the list proper, there's a few things that I'm not including in on this because there's just way too many to do so. But I wanted to mention these to you just in case you're curious. You can head over to our website at RadioWastelandRecords.com and search for all of these new releases. Additionally, we'll put a link directly to the 24th releases in the description below, so make sure you check that out. But there is a bunch of Bob Marley on the way for the 24th, and by a bunch, I mean 12 different Bob Marley and the Whalers reissues. So check that full list out for all dozen of these. We're not gonna include them today on this video, but you can look at them on the website. There's also three from Celtic Frost that I didn't have a lot of the image art, uh, the cover art to go to, so look for those on the website as well, as well as a couple from Nancy Sinatra. But onward now to the new releases for Friday, March 24th, 2023. And we're starting off with a big one with some news that the indie exclusive version might be rationed and might be very difficult to get a hold of, especially for smaller stores. And I'm speaking, of course, of the brand new Lana Del Rey. It's an album entitled, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard? This is a double LP and there are two different versions of this coming out. Let's get into our description first. Did You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard is the ninth studio album from the acclaimed singer-songwriter Lana Del Rey, comprised of 16 tracks and interludes with features including Father John Misty, Tommy Genesis, John Batiste, Bleachers, and many more. It follows the prolific artist 2021 album Chemtrails Over the Country Club and Blue Bannisters. So there is a standard heavyweight double LP on black vinyl listing for about $35, and there is an indie exclusive version with an alternate cover coming on double LP light green vinyl. Now this indie exclusive version is the one that we heard from our distributors that's going to be allocated, i.e. rationed, so it's going to be very tough to get a hold of. So if you can find this one, snag it, that is gonna be really kind of a tough one. The indie exclusive alternate cover green vinyl version, by the way, listing for about $37. Something also new from the band Granddaddy, this is called the Software Slump, check the spelling on that one. This is Granddaddy's long-awaited new recording of the classical album performed by Jason Light in solitude during the quarantines and lockdowns of 2020. Looks like there is a black vinyl version of this as well as an indie exclusive green vinyl version those listing for about $28. Brand new stuff from Fallout Boy as well. So much for Stardust. We got the parentheses on that title as well. The Grammy Award nominated and multi platinum selling rock band Fallout Boy introduces their eighth studio album. This one coming, of course, from Fueled by Ramen and Electra, that is Fallout Boy's label since 2003 and their debut album. So, this new one is a single album available on black vinyl for a list price of about $28 and an indie exclusive colored vinyl version. Looks to be kind of a Coke bottle green, listing for about $28. Next up, we have a classically trained jazz musician turned indie pop artist by the name of Kate Davis and her brand new album called Fishbowl. Our embellished description says across Fishbowl's 12 deeply personal tracks, Davis traces her very own journey from that jazz artist training to the indie rock world. Don't be fooled though, the first track on this is something called Monster Mash. It is not that Monster Mash. It's a completely different one. Fooled me there. So Fishbowl by Kate Davis listing for about $24. Something brand new from Depeche Mode as well on the way for the 24th, a double LP pressing Memento Mori is Depeche Mode's 15th studio album and the first as a two-piece lineup following the tragic passing of Andrew Fletcher in 2022. Double LP on black vinyl Memento Mori by Depeche Mode, listing fairly heavy at a price of about $42. New stuff also from The Bouncing Souls, this should be fun. It's called 10 Stories High. This is the first album from the New Jersey punk band in seven years. So 10 Stories High by The Bouncing Souls, listing for about $28. On the countryside, we've got something brand new from from Luke Combs. This is called Getting Old. Just nine months after his three-time Grammy-nominated record Growing Up, Luke Combs is back with the follow-up, Getting Old. This one on black vinyl, listing for about $35. Something for you video gamers out here. This is an artist by the name of Save Point. 
and the album is Video Game Lo-Fi Zelda, an original soundtrack. So this is a lo-fi version of the music from the original Zelda soundtrack from Nintendo. Listing for about $35 looks to be on black vinyl. Finally, we're including this one on the new releases uh, just because, but this is the 50th anniversary Dark Side of the Moon box set from Pink Floyd. We did a whole video on this a few weeks back when this was announced, so I won't rehash too much other than to say the box set is very expensive and contains multiple versions of the Dark Side of the Moon album, including CDs, the uh, Blu-ray audio, Blu-ray audio 2 with different mixes and a DVD audio. So it's really kind of a tough one to peg, but there is a uh, the inclusion of the Live at Wembley Pool, a double LP live album on this as well. So three pieces of vinyl, multiple optical discs, including CDs, Blu-ray and DVD. You also get a 72 page booklet and a couple of uh, replica seven inch singles. Listing very heavy at a list price of $321. Side note on this Dark Side of the Moon anniversary set for our store, at least here at Radio Wasteland. If this is something you're interested in, please let me know. As soon as possible, we will order it for you. We're not likely to carry any of these on the shelf. So if you want one, you need to let us know. The more exciting side of this, though, is, is that the Dark Side of the Moon Live at Wembley Empire Pool is broken out as a separate release for the 24th as well. This is a, an often bootlegged version of a concert from 1974 by Pink Floyd, where they performed the Dark Side of the Moon in its entirety. The bootlegs of this that I've heard over the years have been excellent sounding, so I can only guess as to how good the proper release of this is actually going to sound. The uh, release coming out on the 24th, though, has an alternate cover with a line-drawn artwork and includes two posters inside as well, this one listing for about $38. On the reissue front, we're starting off with multiple versions of a live album from UFO. This is Werewolves of London. Each of these listing for about $40, and this is the acclaimed 1998 concert extravaganza that was performed by a newly reunited and reinvigorated lineup of the legendary British rock band UFO. So four versions of this coming from Cleopatra Records, again, each listing for about $40. We have a double LP on purple vinyl, purple translucent vinyl, a yellow vinyl as well. This includes a poster, all of these do, by the way, red translucent vinyl and blue translucent vinyl. So if you're looking for this, make sure you let your record store know which colored vinyl version you are looking for from UFO. We also have a reissue of Walk on Water by UFO as well. This one coming from Cleopatra, a double LP on purple colored vinyl with a bonus seven inch as well. This album was originally released in 1995 and features the classic 1970s lineup of Phil Moog, Michael Shanker, Pete Way, Andy Parker, and Paul Raymond. So Walk on Water, the reissue from UFO, listing for about $40. Here's one from Music on Vinyl. Hopefully we can get this in if requested. It is a 40th anniversary reissue of Headhunter from the band Crocus. This one coming on limited edition, 180 gram silver and black marbled colored vinyl, listing very heavy, coming in at about $45. Next up is another Music on Vinyl release. This one from Hanoi Rocks, Two Steps from the Move, limited edition 180 gram translucent red vinyl. And by limited, I mean this is limited to 2,000 individually numbered copies. If you would like that, again, music on vinyl, so it's a little bit hefty on the price tag, listing for about $45. We have a 50th anniversary release from Elton John. This is Honky Chateau, originally released in 1972. This was the fifth studio album by Elton John and includes the singles Rocket Man and Honky Cat. This reissue includes an eight-page booklet containing some rare photos, memorabilia, and an essay featuring interviews from those who were there with Elton at the time. So the double LP version of Honky Chateau 50th anniversary on black vinyl listing for about $38. And there is an indie exclusive gold vinyl version of this as well, that one listing for about $30. Here is a highly anticipated reissue of the 2011 album from David J., the former bassist of Bauhaus and Love and Rockets. Not long for this world coming from Cleopatra Records on double LP red vinyl, this one listing for about $40. Yet one more from Music on Vinyl and a reissue from a very cool 80s alternative college radio group. This is The Call and their Reconciled LP, limited edition 180 gram purple colored vinyl. This one is limited to 1,500 copies and they're all individually numbered as well. So not the biggest and best call album in my opinion, but still a good one. I, I'm gonna save that one for Modern Romans, but Reconciled, 
Music on Vinyl on Purple Vinyl, limited edition, listing for $45. And finally, one more anniversary edition. It is the 25th anniversary of the self-titled In Sync album, their first album originally released in 1998. Now available for reissue on black vinyl. The debut smash features 13 tracks, including Tearing Up My Heart and I Want You Back, amongst others. So if you're feeling old, uh, go ahead and feel old because it's the 25th anniversary of InSync. This one listing for about $26. And wrapping things up for the week of the 24th of March, we've got a couple of greatest hits and compilations, along with a very cool various artist. But let's start off with the Kinks. This is called The Journey Part 1. So this is a brand new 2LP compilation, which was compiled by both Ray Davies and Dave Davies, along with Mick Avery, that, according to our description, reflects the trials and tribulations of the band's journey through life together since 1963. Tracks are taken from all of the classic Kinks original albums, including Kinda Kinks, Face to Face, Something Else, and the recently remastered 50th anniversary editions of Village Green Preservation Society, Lola, and Muswell Hillbillies, as well as everyone's in showbiz. Some very cool tracks on here going all the way back to early Kinks, like You Really Got Me All Day and All the Night, who will be the next in line, along with lots of other great stuff from the Kinks as well, like Celluloid Heroes and Waterloo Sunset. So again, this is a double LP on black vinyl, and it looks like it includes a booklet to go along with that. This one listing for about $35. Here's a reissue of The Police Greatest Hits. This came out a couple of years back on colored vinyl. We now have a black vinyl version. This is the 1992 Greatest Hits compilation on double LP black vinyl. 16 tracks, and it's got all of the great hits from the band. This one double LP on black vinyl, as we mentioned, listing for about $38. Next up is an authorized Greatest Hits double LP from the band Cheap Trick. The historic Greatest Hits collection now available on vinyl, featuring 18 classic tracks tracks, including I Want You To Want Me, Surrender, The Flame, and many more. This has a track-by-track -track liner notes included in there as well, done by the band. Looking at this, though, there is a couple of live tracks as well, including the live version uh, from Budokan of I Want You To Want Me, which is actually more famous, I think, than the studio version, and Ain't That A Shame also from Budokan as well. So double LP black vinyl of Cheap Tricks, Authorized Greatest Hits, coming in at a suggested list price of $31. And finally, wrapping things up, we've got a various artists title called Dance Craze. This one looks very, very cool. Dance Craze is a 1981 concert film recorded at various venues throughout 1980 at the height of the two-tone movement, featuring exclusive live recordings from bands like The Specials, Madness, The Selector, The Beat, aka The English Beat, Bad Manners, and The Body Snatchers. So this is a triple LP edition of lots of great ska punk from the early 80s. This one coming in a little bit heavy, but again, you're getting three records inside, a suggested list price of about $54. So that is a quick check of some of the new releases headed our way for Friday, March 24th, 2023. If you're local, please contact us here at the store and we'll get something pre-ordered for you if you'd like, especially that Pink Floyd box set. Remember, we're not going to have any of them in stock, so if you want one, you got to let us know and we'll get one and get it here for you. But we should have plenty of copies of the live at Wembley on there from Pink Floyd as well, in stock, ready to go on that Friday. If you're not local and you'd like to look at this whole selection and or place an order online, head over to our website at RadioWastelandRecords.com. Don't forget, in the description below, we'll have a link directly to this week's full list of upcoming albums. Please make sure that you are subscribed, hit that like button, comment, do all that stuff you got to do to help the YouTube algorithm help us out. So until next week, we will talk to you next time from Radio Wasteland Records. Thanks.